Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that raises eyebrows and questions. The most dangerous technologies in development right now? As technology evolves at a breakneck speed, some innovations come with a potential for harm. Buckle up as we explore these cutting-edge technologies, the risks they might pose to society, and the ethical dilemmas they bring along. 1. AI and Autonomous Weapons First up, we have artificial intelligence, particularly in the realm of autonomous weapons. Military applications of AI are advancing rapidly, with drones capable of identifying and targeting threats without human intervention. This technology promises increased efficiency and reduced human casualties during combat. However, the risks of malfunction or misuse are significant. According to a report by the United Nations, autonomous weapons systems could lower the threshold for engaging in conflict, making war easier to start and harder to stop. What happens if an autonomous drone misidentifies a civilian as a threat? Or worse, what if these systems are hacked and turned against their operators? The ethical implications are staggering. We need to ask ourselves, should machines have the power to make life and death decisions? 2. Genetic Engineering Next, let's talk about genetic engineering. Technologies like CRISPR allow scientists to edit genes with unprecedented precision. This innovation holds immense promise for curing genetic diseases, potentially eradicating conditions like sickle cell anemia or cystic fibrosis. However, it also raises the possibility of designer babies, where parents could choose traits like intelligence or physical appearance for their offspring. Recently, scientists successfully used CRISPR to combat malaria by editing the genes of mosquitoes. While this could save millions of lives, it also risks creating unintended ecological consequences. If we eliminate a species, what impact will that have on the ecosystem? The ethical considerations are immense, and we must tread carefully. 3. Bioweapons and Synthetic Biology Another area of concern is synthetic biology. With the ability to design and construct new biological parts and systems, synthetic biology has tremendous potential for improving health and agriculture. However, the dark side of this technology is the potential for bioweapons. Researchers can now create pathogens in the lab that could potentially be weaponized, raising alarm bells among public health officials. The rise of DIY biohacking communities adds another layer of risk. Individuals with limited oversight could create dangerous viruses or bacteria. The consequences of such actions could be catastrophic. Imagine a scenario where a virus is intentionally or accidentally released into the population. Unlike natural outbreaks, a synthetic virus could be engineered to be more virulent or resistant to treatment, potentially leading to widespread chaos. International treaties like the Biological Weapons Convention are in place to prevent the development and proliferation of biological weapons, but enforcement is a significant challenge. Many labs operate under minimal oversight, especially in regions with fewer regulations. The accessibility of synthetic biology tools means that more people could experiment with dangerous organisms, leading to a new era of bioweaponry that could outpace our ability to respond. The risks posed by synthetic biology highlight the need for robust ethical frameworks and regulations. As we advance in this field, it is crucial to engage in discussions about how to safely manage these powerful tools. 4. Surveillance Technologies Surveillance technologies are also becoming more advanced, with facial recognition and tracking systems popping up everywhere, from city streets to social media platforms. While these tools can help law enforcement and enhance security, they pose significant risks to privacy and civil liberties. In some regions, facial recognition technology is already being used to monitor citizens in real time, raising concerns about a big brother scenario where individuals are constantly watched. The potential for abuse is high, governments could use this technology to suppress dissent and monitor political opponents. This blurring of lines between safety and oppression is particularly concerning in authoritarian regimes, where surveillance technologies can be weaponized against the very citizens they are meant to protect. Moreover, the accuracy of facial recognition systems is often questioned. Studies have shown that these systems can misidentify individuals, particularly people of color, leading to wrongful arrests and discrimination. As these technologies become more integrated into society, the implications for civil rights and freedoms become even more profound. 
What can we do to protect our privacy in a world where surveillance technologies are ubiquitous? Calls for regulation and oversight of these technologies are growing louder. Many advocate for stricter laws governing how surveillance data is collected and used, as well as the establishment of clear guidelines to ensure accountability. 5. Quantum Computing Let's not forget quantum computing. This revolutionary technology has the potential to change everything we know about computing and information security. Quantum computers can process vast amounts of data at incredible speeds, making them capable of solving problems that are currently unsolvable by classical computers. However, one of the most alarming implications of quantum computing is its ability to crack codes that protect our data and privacy. The current encryption methods that secure our online transactions, communications, and personal information could become obsolete in the face of quantum capabilities. With the ability to break existing encryption methods, the implications for cybersecurity are staggering. If quantum computers become widely available, what will happen to our sensitive information? Everything from banking details to private communications could be at risk. As a result, there's an urgent need for developing quantum-resistant encryption methods to secure our data against potential threats. Moreover, the race to develop quantum technologies has sparked concerns about a potential arms race in cyberspace. Nations are investing heavily in quantum research, hoping to gain an edge over their rivals. This competition could lead to a new kind of technological divide, where countries with advanced quantum capabilities hold disproportionate power in the global arena. 6. Climate Engineering Lastly, we have climate engineering. As the world grapples with the escalating impacts of climate change, methods like solar radiation management and ocean fertilization have emerged as potential solutions. While the intent is to combat climate change, these technologies could have unintended side effects on ecosystems and weather patterns. For instance, solar radiation management aims to reflect a small percentage of sunlight back into space to cool the planet. While this might seem like a viable short-term solution, the long-term effects are largely unknown. Altering the planet's natural processes could disrupt weather patterns, leading to unintended consequences for agriculture and ecosystems. Ocean fertilization, which involves adding nutrients to the ocean to enhance carbon absorption, could also have unforeseen effects. While it could theoretically help mitigate climate change, it might lead to harmful algal blooms and disrupt marine ecosystems. The delicate balance of ocean life could be thrown into chaos, resulting in the loss of biodiversity and the collapse of fish populations. These technologies highlight the need for careful consideration and regulation. While addressing climate change is crucial, we must proceed with caution, ensuring that our attempts to fix one problem do not create another. As we've seen today, while technological advancements have the potential to improve our lives, they also come with risks that we must carefully navigate. The development of these dangerous technologies calls for ethical considerations, regulatory frameworks, and public discourse. We stand at a crossroads where the choices we make today could have lasting impacts on our future. It's essential for society, scientists, policymakers, and citizens alike to engage in meaningful discussions about these technologies. How can we harness their potential for good while minimizing the risks? What are your thoughts on these technologies? Should we embrace them or proceed with caution? Let us know in the comments below.